Hello again for on shape day two. So we just looked at filler, fillet and camphor. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the transform tools in both sketch and 3D mode. I find it a little bit easier in 3D mode, but basically if I needed to move these figures, like maybe I wanted to stack them on top of each other or something, um, you need to know how to um, transform them. So transform is technically translate, which is moving rotation and scale. Um, and to do it to the whole figure, you have to make sure the whole object is selected. For example, if I click this, I haven't selected the whole of part two. I've selected the outer edge. So the best way to select objects before using the transform tool is to actually click the whole part. So come over here, click the part. It selects the whole shape. Um, and then you don't have to worry about moving only part of it. The transform tool looks like this. You might not see it because I think initially, oh no, I think you will see it. I thought it used to be hidden under something, but um, the transform tools here. So I'm going to reselect whoops, reselect part one, go to the transform tool. And then this assumes you want to translate, which is what I want to do. I want to move it, but translating by line, I find I don't like that one. So I will be showing you transform by X, Y, Z or translate by X, Y, Z. And the reason I like it this way is because it gives you the, this little widget here. And so you have arrows here and you have little squares here or rhombuses, depending on how you want to look at them. The squares will move you in two dimensions. Um, let me just get a different angle on this. And the arrows will move you in whatever direction the arrow is pointing. Um, and you can see until you click the check mark, it shows you a shadow of where it was originally. So when I started this transform process, the box was originally over here. Now it's hanging out over here. And so when I click the check mark, it's over there. The sketch stays in its spot, but the object just moved. So let's do that again. I'm going to select part two. I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to switch this down to translate by X, Y, Z. And then I can move this however I want. Um, and again, you see the shadow of where it started. This is where it is now. So when I click the green check mark, that's where it ends up. Let's use that same tool for rotation and scale. So again, it's smarter to select the shape here. And I'm going to go to transform. So if I rotate, you can click this here, but it's going to need an axis, um, which if you want to do that, you'd probably want to show your um, planes again. Oh, I thought I could choose an axis from here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, that doesn't work as well. Let's go to scale instead. Don't worry about rotation. If you need to rotate, I can show you how to do that later. So I'm scaling. Oh, that also needs a point. Yeah. I think for now, as long as you know how to move the things by using this, um, oh. By using the translate by X, Y, and Z, that'll be enough for now. Um, if you end up using Onshape for your final project and you want to know more about rotation and scale, I can certainly show you then. But for now, I think that knowing how to move them or translate them is important. So that's how you do it. It also occurs in the sketches. So if I were to open sketch one, here's my sketch one. Um, the translate tool or the transform tool is tucked under linear pattern. So if I click transform and I select this, then I have the movement arrows and the movement rectangle. 
But here is where I could rotate if I wanted to. Um, and this big arrow in the middle is a resize arrow. So I guess for now, if you wanted to rotate or scale, you can rotate or scale the sketch because it's fairly easy. Um, and to have that take place, you can see there's a mouse near my icon. It's got a green checkbox on the left mouse button. That means in order for me to accept these changes, I can click that. And you can see this is my new rectangle or my modified rectangle. And when I click the check box, you should also notice that my boxes change because my sketch changed. So um, that's interesting. I'm not going to paste anything for this video, but I did want to show you the transform tools. So I'm going to end this video um, and then we'll look at a couple other cool features. So stay tuned.